Hi there, Mike Hathaway here, Chief Product Officer of Assertia, makers of Signing Hub and the world's most flexible trust services platform, ADSS Server. In this short video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to digitally sign documents in Salesforce using the Signing Hub for Salesforce integration. So let's take a look. The Signing Hub for Salesforce integration has already been installed in my Salesforce environment. The Signing Hub for Salesforce integration will enable you to send documents for signing from opportunities, accounts, contacts, contracts, quotes, leads, cases, events, tasks, orders, campaign, and custom Salesforce objects. The Signing Hub for Salesforce integration is easy to configure and can be found by clicking on the Salesforce app launcher, selecting View All, and selecting the Signing Hub admin link. The Signing Hub admin link and admin page will load. From here, you can configure the Salesforce for Signing Hub account settings, manage users, choose how Signing Hub documents are downloaded and stored within Salesforce, create mappings between documents that are loaded into Salesforce and PDF form fields, and any advanced settings. So let's take a look at a signing operation. I've already configured and created a sample opportunity with a sample agreement. What we'll do is we'll share this sample agreement. It's a two page document with two signers. So from the menu, I select share using signing hub, check the box next to the file I wish to share and select next. The first stage of document preparation appears. So I'll need to set who I wish to include within this workflow. So I'll add my recipients here. So I'll be the first signer. There you go, that, uh, that adds me to the workflow. And next I'll add my additional signer. So I'll just add their details here. So there we go, my two signers have been configured. Uh, we can see they have the signer role and when now we'll go to prepare the document. The signing hub uh, document preparation page will load so anyone who's familiar with this area will be able to uh, instantly uh, recognize and work with signing hub for those that are new uh, it's a very simple operation we have our two signers that we've configured in the uh, in the salesforce workflow we select the first signer they're highlighted in green and we drag across the signing field into the document signing hub will ask us to choose the level of assurance we wish to apply for that signer so i'm going to say i want an electronic seal and now it's a case of positioning and uh, sizing the signature field to match the area in the document where they want the signature to appear. I've also got the opportunity to drag across additional form fields. So for this operation, I'll drag across name, position it just there, that's great. And then I select my second signer uh, and I perform exactly the same operation. So I drag over the signature field. Uh, again, I'll set the level of assurance and the last one I placed was the electronic seal. So that's fine for my signer. And you'll see that signing have automatically sized the signature field to match the previous one that was placed. You can, of course, move this and reposition, resize, but uh, given that uh, matches up quite nicely, that's great for me. And then I'll obviously drag across the name field that will be filled when uh, when that user comes to sign. So great, we're ready. Let's click share now. And signing hub will uh, begin the uh, process and notify my users. And I'll just hit return to Salesforce to be returned back to um, the opportunities object. From here, I can click on the details tab uh, and the signing hub document statuses panel will load. It tells me that uh, there's a word document that's been shared. I'm obviously the owner when it was sent and that it's now pending. So I have two options. I can click on the notification email that was sent to my inbox or given that I'm still within Salesforce, I can click the view button. The signing hub document uh, signing page or document viewing area will load where I can click on the start button here to indicate to me exactly where I need to go to, to start my signing. Uh, the signature field is highlighted ready for me to use, so I'll just click sign. Uh, the sign now dialog will appear where I can type, draw and upload my signature fields. I'll just click sign now. And signing hub, because it was set by the document owner, will use the electronic seal to witness me signing the document. So that's great, I've signed. That's all taking place. I can click close, return to Salesforce, and I'll be returned back to the object where I can view the details. And I can see that the document is now uh, in progress and that it's uh, pending, the external sign, uh, pending the external signer to sign. So we'll take a look very quickly at uh, their inbox. 
so we can see a couple of other signing um, uh, operations that have taken place here's the latest email click on the link we'll be taken straight to the uh, the document that uh, they need to sign they can click the start button again they're taken directly to where they need to perform their signing operation there's no question no ambiguity very very simple to direct users to sign so we click the sign button again they can type draw and they can upload a signature if they wish to we'll just click sign now and again the level of assurance was set to electronic seal by the document owner so the signing hub electronic seal will be used to witness john on in this instance signing the document so we'll click close that's been taken care of and we'll go back to their inbox uh, you'll get the notification that you've processed the sample agreement so signing hub actively lets the signer know what's going on Back in my Salesforce environment, I can see here that uh, the, the flow is completed from, from within the details panel. This is automatically updated. Um, if I go to notes and attachments, click view all. I can see the original agreement here. That's the word document that we started with. And we can see here, this is the uh, PDF document that's being produced by signing hub. And this signing hub has appended um, the signed document with an underscore completed to let us know that there is a distinct difference between the two documents. We click on the document link we can view the uh, the signed pdf within the pdf browser and we can see here both signatures have been, been placed within the document so let's close that there and return to the uh, the opportunity i also have the option to go back to details and from the signing hub document status click actions and i can actually view the document and the difference here is this will load the signing hub document viewer to be uh, to enable me to actually browse down to where the signatures have been placed and I can actually click on the signature fields to get a bit more information about the signature that's been placed within the document. I can expand this out to see details about the type of signature that's placed and details about the certificate used to sign the document. And I can do that for each signer that has uh, performed signing operations within the document. So let's close that down and return back into Salesforce. So there you have it. Um, signing and sharing documents using Salesforce, using the signing hub for Salesforce integration. Couldn't be easier. So I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to hear more about Assertia products, please visit assertia.com or alternatively get in touch with one of our sales executives or customer success manager, or maybe check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in on the next video. Take care. Bye now.